We are hearing Bhagavad Gita, 11th chapter, Darshan of Vishwari. Arjuna requested, I want to see. Then Krishna said, yes, you will see. You see this, this, this. Everything we can see by the grace of Krishna. The Supreme Lord said this, we heard yesterday, Behold, O Partha, forms of mine, by hundreds and thousands, diverse, divine, and of many colors and shapes. Behold, O Bharata, the Adityas, they are the sons, the Vasus, they are demigods, the Rudras, the twin Ashwins, the Maruts, Behold to the marvels that have never been seen before. Behold do, O Gura Kesh, the entire universe of things that are both movable and immovable within my body, with whatever else do desires to behold. And now this verse is very important. Next one. Natumam shaktya se drashtum ane neva svachakshusha tibyam dadami te chakshu pasya me yoga maishwaram. But do canst not behold, O Partha, my glorious forum with thy human eyes. I therefore grant thee. Divine vision. Behold my sovereign yoga. Dibyam dadami te chakshu. I will give you those eyes by which you can see. Means without the grace of Krishna it is impossible. Explanation. The Lord assumed his universal form, giving Arjuna power to behold the form beforehand. Arjuna, being a devotee, beholds the transcendental beautiful form of Sri Krishna with his spiritual eyes. But the universal form of the Lord is related to the cosmic world and need not therefore be seen with spiritual eyes. The material eyes are also incompetent to behold the universal form of the Lord. The divine vision was, therefore, granted to Arjuna, which enabled him to visualize the whole universe divided into several parts, but held together in a unit. An eye which is neither material nor spiritual, but having an intuitive quality of ratiocination is a qualified eye. Those who are endowed with such eyes feel more delight in beholding this sublime lordly form, Vishwaru, than in beholding the transcendental beautiful form of Sri Krishna because of the dormancy of their spiritual eyes. I want to see this word in dictionary one second. Ratiocination. I heard already before in one Harikata by Shila Shidhar Maharaj that uh, for seeing the universal form of Krishna this vision which was granted by Krishna to Arjuna was not that spiritual for Goloka, that, that one, but also not with this material eyes, you cannot. It is some special, so 
now I'm seeing this. This is, I think it is coming from Shila Bhaktivinu Thakur's uh, commentary. And here also he's telling that those who have such eyes opened, they, they are very glad to see this universal forum. Because their transcendental spiritual eyes are still dormant, means sleeping. As we heard yesterday, when Dhruva got darshan of Narayan and Narayan blessed him, that time Dhruva said, by your power, that speech by which to glorify you was awakened within me, which was still now sleeping. I experienced this. And that speech, which was describing material things, is now destroyed by your grace. So, even those who see universal form, everything is one, connected, different parts, but all one, connected, like oneness, someone may see, but that is still not enough to see the transcendental spiritual form of Krishna with two hands and in doing lila qualities. That you need devotional eyes of that uh, category. So the meaning of this word, ratiocination, it is a noun, form of ratiocinate, Forum judgments by a process of logic, reason. So here, an eye which is neither material nor spiritual, but having an intuitive quality of ratiocination is a qualified eye. Here, Think rationally, think logically, think straight, use one's mind. So it means like some subtle type of vision is this. But anyway, even this, for this you need the grace of Krishna, like those who do some tapasya, some austerities according to Vedic instructions, and they come to the platform of impersonal liberation, that vision, that liberation is also given by Krishna. You cannot get it without his grace. And those who deny this, that it is given by Krishna, not giving due respect to Krishna, they will have to fall down from that. Because of this offense thinking, no, I got it independently. Then, Sanjaya Uvach, Evam Uktva Tatora Jan, Mahajogeshwar Ohari, Darshayam Asaparthaya, Paramam Rupam Aishwaram, Anekavaktra Nayanam, Anekadbuta Darshanam, Aneka divya bharanam, divya nekodya tayudham, divya malyam baradharam, divya gandhanulepanam, sarvascharja mayam devam, anantam vishvato mukham. Sanjay said to Dhritarashtra, Having thus spoken, O king, Hari, the Lord of Yoga Supreme showed his lordly form to Partha, which is unprecedented and unique, with many mouths and eyes, with many marvelous visions, with many divine ornaments, and with many godly weapons uplifted, with wreaths divine and clad in gorgeous garments and with sweet scented divine perfumes 
anointed all over his body, all wonderful and resplendent, infinite and with faces all the world over, everywhere. Once also Advaita Charjo saw this form by the grace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he wanted to see. Vivisurya Sahasrasya Bhavet Yugapat Utita Yadi Bhaksa Drishi Sasyat Bhasastasya Mahatmanaha. Now, if a thousand suns burst forth at a time in the azure blue, that over dazzling light may to some extent resemble the effulgence of that mighty form, Bishwaru. So, thousand suns together at one time, if they would shine, that would to some extent only, not fully, to some extent resemble the effulgence of that mighty form, Bishwaru. So much over dazzling light coming. Tatre kastam jagat kritsnam pravi bhaktam ane kadha apashya deva devasya sharire pandavastada. Then Arjuna beheld the entire universe divided into many parts, but strung together in the divine form of that God of all gods. One, all strung together. Nothing is separately existing from him. Although there are parts, it is not like homogeneous, like one light, just one white light, and that is all. No, here means many different parts are there, but they are they're combined, they are uh, strung together into one. Some people, they, they get such vision. They speak about oneness, but that oneness is not like only one color, green color and nothing. No, everything is one, means everything is connected. Nothing, is, nothing has any separate existence from another. Tataksavi smayavishto Krishtaroma Dananjayaha Pranamya Shirasa Devam Kritanjalir Abhashata. Then Dananjaya means conqueror of wealth, was filled with sudden awe and admiration. His hairs stood on end in ecstasy. He bowed down before the Lord and with folded hands thus addressed. He saw, then he was uh, having such awe and reverence. Arjuna Uvaj Pashyami Devam Stava Deva Dehe Sarvam Stathabhuta Vishesha Sangham Brahmana Misham Kamala Sanastam Rishim Shcha Sarvam Uragam Shcha Divyan Arjuna said, O Lord, within thy divine form, I behold the heavenly gods of various grades. You see, demigods also, they are of different grades. Not all same. And then the assembly of all living beings. The Lord Brahma seated on lotus flower, Shiva, and all the godly rishis and the serpent kings, Nagas. Mm. Or Urugam 
सो पश्या देवंस दे आर देवस देन सर्वंस तथा भूत विशेष लिविंग कैंटिटीज भूत अनेक बाहूदरावाक्त्र पशा सार्वतो नूप नमद्याम न पुनास्तवादी पशा विश्वरा विश्व ओ विश्वेश्वर लोर्थ ऑफ द यूनिवर्स ओ विश्व Universal Forum, I behold Thy all-pervading divine frame, with innumerable arms, stomachs, mouths, and eyes. I find, O Do of endless forms, no beginning, middle, or end of Thee. कीर्तिनांगादीना चाक्रीना चेजो राशि सर्वतो दीप्तिमा पशा दूर्निरीक्षा सीप्तालाकाजुति आमेय आई बिहोल्ड दाय ऑल प्रवेदिंग दिवाइन फोरम shining as the mass of great splendor with diadem mace and discus blazing as fire bright as the radiant sun immeasurable and hard to behold explanation thy resplendent form whose splendor surpasses the effulgence of a thousand suns placed together has filled the earth sky and space intervening them and having countless gaping mouths with sharp gnawing teeth i behold thee with o Interagress. Once you see, then you are, then you can have that. Oh, interagress. Like Gurudev said, if I have one hundred euro, then if I see someone who has ten euros, then I will be. proud i have so much but if you see someone who has 1000 euro then you will be little humble and if you see someone who has 1 100000 euro you will be more humble you will think i i i have very little but if you see someone like having trillions of euros then what you will think i am nothing you will be humble and you will be adoring admiring that so arjuna because he is seeing that it is quite natural that he is having such hope and reverence शाश्वताधारोक्त सनातनस्वाषो मत मे आई बिलीव दु आर इमोर्तल द सुप्रीम बींग worthy to be known the great receptacle of the universe do are unchangeable the prop of eternal religion 
do are the supreme being as well. Prop, one second, prop. Prop, like a prophet or what? Prop. A pole or a beam used as a temporary support or to keep something in position. So I think this one, to keep something in position. Yes, then verb support or keep in position. Yes, he is the prop of eternal religion. He is supporting or keeping in position. Eternal religion, that means devotion to Krishna. That is eternal religion. Nothing else is eternal. Anadimadyan tamananta viryam Ananta bahum shashi surya netram Pashyami tvam dikta huta shavaktram Svate jasa vishvamidam tapantam. Du hast no beginning, middle or end. Du are force infinite, with countless arms, with the sun and the moon for thy glorious eyes. I behold thy face as burning fire, Illuminating this universe by thy own effulgence. Tio a pretivior idam antaram hi viaptam tvaye ke nadishascha sarva drishtvad butam rupamu gram tavedam. Loka trayam pravyati tam mahatman. The earth, the heavens, and the middle sphere are all pervaded by thee alone. Thou hast occupied all quarters of the universe. O Lord Supreme, the three worlds shake before thy O inspiring form. Ami hitvam sura sanga vishanti kechi bitah pranjala yogrinanti swastiti uktva maharshi sida sangha stuvanti tvam stuti bih pushkalanti Svasti tuktva maharshi sida sanga stuvanti tan stuti vih puškalabi. Yes. These hosts of gods enter thy divine frame. Some struck with oath join their palms. Bands of maharshis and siddhas hail thee with swasti. Here it is in brackets, Amen. Chanting hymns and singing excellent songs in praise of thee. Swasti, Amen. So they are all singing excellent songs in praise of thee. Rudra ditya va savo ye chasadya vishwe shrino marutas choshma pascha kandarva yaksha surasida sangha vikshante tvam vismitas chaiva sarve. The Rudras, the Adityas, the Vasus. The Sadhyas, the Vishwa Devas, the twin Ashwini Kumaras, the Maruts, the Ushmapas, 
the remains, the Gandharvas, the Yakshas, the demons, and the assembly of Siddhas, all are wonderstruck in beholding thy lordly form, Bishwarup. About all these higher living beings, you will find more description when we will read Srimad Bhagavatam, and even more it is in some other Puranas. Because in Bhagavatam, this is not the main uh, point, they are only the essence of all uh, this devotion to Supreme Lord it has to be given. So, descriptions of these living entities are not as elaborated as in some other Puna, Puranas. So, if one wants to know about Ashwini Kumaras, Gandharvas, what are their qualities and all this, then it is in some Puranas in details. They are always existing during this creation. Uh, like, for example, we hear in Gajendra Moksha, in Bhagavatam, that Hu Hu Gandharva, they are musicians and dancers in heavenly plants. Hu Hu Gandharva, he was joking with that Deva Larishi. He was trying to make fun of him and he was naughty so finally, uh, Deva Rishi cursed him. You are like a crocodile. So he became a crocodile, but he was rescued by Supreme Lord. And again, he got that Gandharva form. So there only Gandharva is mentioned, but in other Puranas, you can read the description of Gandharvas and Vasus and all. Rupam Mahatte Bahuvak Tranetram Maha Baho Bahu Bahu Rupadam Bahu Daram Bahu Karalam Drishtva lokah pravyati tas tataham. O mighty armed, the people of the world and I as well are awe stricken to behold thy tremendous form with countless mouths, numberless eyes, innumerable arms, tides, and feet vast bosoms and the terrific jaws set with dreadful teeth. So you see in, in English language, you have countless, numberless and innumerable. Three different for same thing. Countless, numberless, innumerable. Everything is unlimited in this uh, Bishwar. Nabhaks prisham diptam ane kavarnam vyata nanam dipta vishalanetram drishtva hitvam pravyati tantaratma driti navinda mishamam cha vishnu o lord my body quakes my heart fails and i find no peace to behold thee splendid and multicolored with wide opened mouths and extending up to heavens, and with thy radiant and extensive eyes. Damstra karala nichate mukhani, drishtve vakala nalasa nibhani, 
देशो न जाने न लाभे च शर्मा प्रसीद देवेश जागा निवास Bewildered and befogged to behold thy awe inspiring faces with terrible upstanding teeth and awful jaws like the universal conflagration at the breakup of the world, I know not where to find shelter or peace. Be thou merciful on me, O Lord. Refuge of the universe. Ami chatvam dritarashtra sya putrah sarve sahaiva vani pala sanghai bishmo dronah suta putra stataso sahas madiyair api yoda mukyai. Vaktranite dvaramana vishanti damstra karala nibhaya nakane kechid vilagna dashanantareshu sandrishyante churniteir utamangai. The sons of Dhritarashtra present here, the multitude of all these kings, Bhishma, Drona, Karna, and all the warriors on our side, are rushing frightful into thy mouths with terrible teeth. In brackets, by coming in into contact with these dreadful teeth, some are seen caught betwixt the teeth and their heads crushed betwixt this one second then this is like between betwixt yes between two people or two things in between hmm. Never saw this word before. Betwixt the teeth and their heads crushed. So all are going there in the mouth of Krishna because by karma everything is done. So time will finish everything. So here Arjuna saw they are all going from our side, soldiers, and on their side, they are all entering into the mouth of Krishna and they are being crushed. Yatha nadinam bhavom buvega samudram eva bimukha dravanti tatha tavami nara loka vira vishanti vaktranya bhivi jvalanti Just as flowing rivers impetuously rush into the white ocean. So these gallant heroes, as well as these lords of earth, find themselves into thy blazing mouths. Fine. themselves into thy blazing mouths. Yata pradiptam jvalanam patanga vishanti nashaya samrita vega tateva nashaya vishanti lokas 
Tava Pivaktrani Samri Tavika. Just as the moths, <coughs> those insects, with quickened speed, rush forth into a blazing fire to die, so these mighty warriors enter into thy terrific mouths in haste, perforce to perish therein. You know, when there is any light or something, they will one, they are attracted, they go there. And they die there, entering the fire. Like that, our Gurdjieff gave example, those jivas, marginal potency jivas, they're in between spiritual world and material world. So they can see both sides. This Maik world also is very dazzling, looks attractive, like phantasmagoria, looks like happiness, but there is no substance, but looks like. So like those insects, when they are entering into fire, being attracted, not knowing what is there, only they are attracted and they die. Like that, we jivas, who become averse to Krishna and want to enjoy this Maya, we are like that, attracted and ultimately we die. Means we forget who we are and we have to get so much suffering in this material existence. Leli hiase gra samana samantal lokan samagran vada ne jwala depi te jo bira purya jagat samagram bhasas tavo grah prata panti vishno. O Lord of the Universe, on every side, licking up multitudes of men with fiery tongues, do art swallowing them outright with thy flaming mouths. Thy splendor has filled all the worlds with blazing rays and burning fire. Akya himeko bhavan ugra rupo namostu te deva vara prasida vigyatumi chami bhavan tamadyam nahi prajanamitava pravritim. O Lord, tell me who are du with this awful form. I bow to thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I wish to know thy superhuman nature, as I know not thy inner self. Now here there is an explanation of the previous five verses where Arjuna was speaking altogether. Arjuna, brave as he was, was frightened out of his wits at the sight of the Bishwarup of the Lord. He saw Bhishma, Drona, Karna and all other warriors of the two contending armies rushing headlong into his gaping mouths with sharp, gnawing teeth and are being pounded to dust. He noticed also several others with their heads smashed to pieces in the space between pairs of teeth. He saw myriads of fiery tongues and those mouths leaking away worlds after worlds, but could not make out all that really, all that really meant, but could not make out all that really meant. He then rallied his spirits with great difficulty and with folded hands begged the Lord to explain his universal form and his actions. So now he's requesting. So 
श्री भागवन उवाच कालोस्मी लोकाक्षया कृत प्रवृद्धो लोका समाहार तुम इहा प्रवृता रीते भविष्यति सर्वे ये वास्तिता प्रत्यु योद्धा द सुप्रीम नॉट सैथ ओ अर्जुना आय एम दि ड्रेथफुल टाइम दैट रेक्स दि वर्ल्ड एंड विच इज मेड मैनिफेस्ट टू डिस्ट्रॉय दिस enormous multitudes of men even without thy agency none of the warriors present in the hostile ranks shall survive so that time this is time time will take everything no one can resist that time so krishna told even if you will not fight still they will they will be destroyed because it is in their karma and time is coming but krishna wants that arjuna should act for krishna to serve him it will benefit arjuna later he will explain only as an instrumental but even if we don't want to sir still that thing will happen surely no one can stop it is under the control of krishna if he wants to change then he can do but no one else what is in our karma it will happen by krishna's will who can fight against krishna's will we say to others you cannot fight with krishna it is impossible krishna is supreme lord but we from our side also we should practice this that we should understand we cannot fight with krishna everything is under his control how we can fight against him what he wants it will happen if we are submitted to his will then we can be peaceful if we have any separate desire then we will be disturbed but anyway it will happen only we will be losers we will be disturbed here explanation the lord said that he had assumed the form of time for the purpose of destruction and in this work he was the author and not arjuna who was but an instrument in his hands and this is true also for all other fruits we are getting that is why we cannot blame anyone krishna is giving the fruits of our previous actions through some instrument but that instrument is not the cause so we cannot complain or blame against that instrument even we cannot criticize krishna blame him because it is our action fruit which we are getting so we have to rectify ourselves to work properly not improperly then we can be peaceful and happy no one else to, is to be blamed and also it is the mercy of krishna to give us such a result so that we can get a lesson out of that that this was wrong action so it is not only we are not to complain but we are to see his grace when we can see his grace then we can be released from all sufferings when we can see his grace how he is helping us to rectify our actions शोलभास्व जीवा शत्रुन भुंक्षराज्यमृद्ध मैते निहता पूर्व 
Nimitamatram bhava savya sachin. This is also very important verse to understand. Therefore, O Arjuna, arise and win a renown. Conquer thy enemies and enjoy the kingdom in prosperity as the result of victory. By me, they are already slain. O Savya Sachin, means shooter of arrows with both hands, be do but the apparent cause of this destruction, means nimita matram, like instrumental. Krishna is giving us this opportunity to serve him, but we cannot control the results. Krishna has all the results, so he already killed them, means he will give the fruits of their actions. He already killed them. No one can stop that. Either we fight or don't fight. That is already, it will be done. But Krishna wants to engage Arjuna in his service for his benefit, for Arjuna's benefit. So you will not be the real cause. You will be apparent cause of destruction, only as an instrument. But I am the cause of, in the sense of giving the fruits. But in re, uh, they are also the cause. Those who did such actions. So when Gurudev says everything is happening by the will of Supreme Lord in this world. It is in this sense that he is giver of the fruits. Nothing can happen without Krishna's will. That does not mean that he desires that all these things are going on. Someone killing another one like this. No, he's only giving the fruits. What is his desire is that we should wake up from this dream and submit to him for his service and enter into transcendental blissful realm, our home, sweet home. That is his desire. For this reason, he gives instructions in Bhagavad Gita. He comes as so many avatars. He sends his own personal associates to teach us devotion to him. That is his desire. But it is his will about how everything is going on in this world. Uh, under the law of karma and he is the giver of fruits and he is also all merciful because those fruits will give us lessons, his mercy. Onam cha bishmam cha cha yadratham cha karnam tatanyan api yodaviran maya hatam stvam jahima vyatishta yudhyas vajeta sirane sapatnam Drona, Bhishma, Jayadrata, Karna and all other great warriors are already slain by me. Kill them now. Shake off your unmanly cowardice in battle. Fight thy foes out. Thou shalt surely crush thy rivals. No one can change what, what is already uh, supposed to happen by the, our previous actions. And Krishna already knows and he is now giving the fruit through some instruments. Sometimes personally he gives, sometimes through some instrument, but it will happen. Anjaya Uach.
एतात्श्रुत्वा वचनम केशवस्य कृतंजलिर वेपना वेपा मन कीरिति नमस्कृत्वा भूया एव हा कृष्णम सगात गदम भीता भीता प्रणाम्या एताच्छ्रुत्वावाचनाम केशवस्या कृतंजलिर्वे पमाना किरिति नमस्कृत्वा भूया एवा हक्रिष्णम सागाद गदम भीता भीता प्रणाम्या संजय सेत ओकिंग द्रितराष्ट्र हैविंग हर दिस वर्ड्स ऑफ केशवा अर्जुना स्टिल ट्रेम्बलिंग विथ फेयर With folded hands, bowing down, time and again, thus began to address Krishna in broken accents. Arjuna Vach, Stane Hrishi Keshatava Prakirtya Jagat Prahrishyatyutya Nu Rajatecha. Raksham Sibitani di Shodravanti Sarve Namashanti Chasita Sangha. Arjuna said, O Hrishikesh, the world rightly rejoices in thy glory. The demons fly in all quarters in fear, and the hosts of Siddhas make obeisances to thee. Here there is some explanation the underlying principle is this a superior will directs and regulates the eventuation of even the most trifling incidents in the huge divine plan of the universe and arjuna must harmonize his will with that of divine knowing that there is no action in the world independent of the divine will. He should get credit only by killing the foes who have already got up the scaffold of time whom no executioner will spare now. This we will hear uh, again tomorrow if there will be time. Tomorrow is also some auspicious day or otherwise maybe Monday. Sunday is also Ekadashi and Srila Bharati Maharaja's appearance. So this is very important point. We heard many times from Gurudev, but we have to understand it and practice it. Nothing can happen without the will of Krishna. In, in most trifling thing in this world, Everything is controlled by him. Totally everything. And we have to harmonize with his will. If we will not, we will be always disturbed. We have to adjust with his will. Then we can be happy and peaceful. So this we have to understand and practice and realize. We'll hear. Thank you.